All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Is It Drakes. Uh, this deck did very well, is doing very well at the Open right now. So, and I think it's underrepresented. So I decided to take that Open deck list, and I think it's going to become more popular next weekend. So I made a couple changes. Like, I think four Terramanders is a little rough when you have 12 creatures. Um, in, in 21 lands, like, you're just not going to turn it on quite quickly enough, and it's not great in pairs. And it's not really great against the mono red decks or in the mirror. So I decided to cut it because I actually think Niv Mizzet is pretty good against the mono red decks. And Niv Mizzet is obviously great in the mirror. Like Niv against mono red, you can, especially when you board into like Raptor Hatchlings, you can hold down the ground. And then Niv prevents their burnout plan because you just out you just outgrind them. So I think that this is Niv is in there, this changes to help with the mirror and mono red. <clears throat> um then I moved over to the sideboard here. I cut the fiery candidates because I just I don't I do not like fiery candidate as much as Raptor Hatchling. I think Raptor Hatchling is like a good uh it's just a good brick wall that turns off spectacle for two turns and it can just it just turns on chart of course when you need it to. Another beacon bolt because I think that this deck will become more represented. And then I had I Played Negates, because I think Negate is better than Disdainful Stroke, even though, like, sometimes the Crassus body is annoying to deal with. Because sometimes you just stroke the, the Crassus, and then you kill him anyways. <coughs> nice. Um, so we're going to give this a shot, then we're going to play a Soul Titleist. Um, the two decks that I'm going to play, I'm either going to play this or this next weekend. So, this is what we're going to be doing. Because these decks, are, I think, are the most impressive that I've seen play. And I can even hedge this deck more to beat Mono Red. I think, like, the Wild Growth Walker um, package, it's pretty, it's pretty tough to beat for other aggro decks. Though, we did see Zach Keeney just slap someone on coverage in the in the mirror or in a Crassus mirror when he was playing um, Bant. I'm gonna grab some more coffee. I saw, I watched Austin, I didn't like Austin Collins' deck. Like, even though, I don't even, it just seems like his deck, when I was watching the Open, just like thinking about it, I wonder how Austin got to his deck. Alright, we'll keep this. Yeah, yield through this turn. Yield until next end step. Excuse me. Uh, yield until next end step. And we're just looking for a threat. Pretty much that's it at this point. We have a removal spell. Okay, so we're playing against black green. Or bug. Um, I don't think we want this. Even though that's a way to get ahead once we have a threat, we need to find a threat before we worry about getting ahead. <coughs> so this turn's likely gonna entail lava coiling a threat and then opting, I think. I would even probably Lava Coil a Land Elf here, but yeah, that thing's dead. 
right? There's our threat, and we're gonna be we're on the play, so we're gonna get it into play under Vivian Reed. And it's already gonna be a 5-5 when it hits the battlefield. I'm probably looking for like another lava coil. That's a little scary. You until next time step. Who are you teaming with? I'm teaming with Andrew LeClaire and my friend Delray Campbell. Okay, so we can just chart a course and look for a spell pierce, or we can play into a Vivian. And I think I'm going to play into a Vivian because even if we get spell pierce, they can just activate this. Like, we just got to kind of hope they don't have Vivian Reed here. If we get to untap, we're going to draw 42 cards, but just hope they don't have untap land Reed. If not, they're probably just going to attack here and adapt, and if that happens, we're good. <coughs> okay. We adapt. Now we're in a little bit of trouble. So maybe it was right of me to just chart a course. All right, well, there's another Drake. Um, I'm gonna ditch the steam vents. So two, they don't have removal, I don't think anymore. So I'm just going to play this out here. We're, we're pretty far behind, and I really don't want to just not do anything with my mana this turn. I don't really want to chart a course again when each one of our, each thing gets destroyed by Vivian. Yeah, that sucks. Hadana's climb. This card's a beating. This card is a beating. All right, we're going to take this shot. All right, so we need to get this game over with. Without dying, which is going to kind of which is going to be easier said than done cuz they can go climb on this and then make it 10 power. Or we block here, climb. <clears throat> like they're there, I think we're just well, they, they can't climb and flip and attack with everything. So it's not like we're just dead, but we do have to like <clears throat> we do have to like one turn clock this. Uh, lava coil will be a great draw right here. Oh wow. So now I just lava coil this. Shock this, dive down. This deck is gas. The next turn, we could kill them. They also could kill us. I really like this deck. Oh, are you Vivian? 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 Are they Crassusing? Okay, Crassus for two. You got it. We're just going to take this. Tilt. Okay, so they're going to play Climb, one, two, three, make a mana. We're at seven, so we block here, or, yeah, so we're not going to die next turn. So we're going to get in here and attack with our Drake, play another Drake, and then play a Tap Blood Crypt. We're going to have two lethal attackers next turn. That works as well. <clears throat> 
Okay, so it's another crisis. Um, okay, so we just dive down this, and then if we draw a spell, our opponent's dead. What a tilt. They have a Vivian here. Like, we're pretty much on. Okay, that's bad. Oh, man, missing on a spell there sucked. Jeez. All right, so what do we have for outs now? We've got two shocks left in the deck. We have a Niv Mizzet. Okay, so they have double climb now. So they ditch this. They probably keep. No, they probably ditch this too. They don't have enough mana. Okay. All right, Terramander, at least we're not dead. I mean, if they have a way to kill this, we're dead, but. Which they do. Man, that sucked. You gotta be kidding me. All right. So we want these. On the play, we want our Terramanders. Um, I don't really like Beacon Bolt. Yeah, that sucked. I'm going to bring in more removal when we're on the draw. So I kept, I brought in my Negate last time, but I think that I want to have Spell Pierce because it, it hits Climb also. <coughs> we're going to sideboard much differently than the draw. Like we're probably going to board out Terramander on the draw, bring in like more removal and one more counter spell. Like we're probably going to switch these for this on the draw. We might even cut an Enigma Drake for another Beacon Bolt or Negate. But this is what we're going to do now. Good luck, Johnny. All right, so we have the old 1-2 combo of Terramander into Charter Course. I'm gonna keep in I'm gonna keep Beacon Bolt in on the draw, but <clears throat> I'm a fan of Niv because their deck now with Hydroid Crassus just goes way over the top and you have to you have to like arms race with them. And we have three dive downs and three spell pierces. So like as long as we're cognizant of Vivian Reed, then we're gonna be fine. <clears throat> I did not like Niv against Old Black Green, but I think Hydroid Crassus has changed things. All right, getting in there, we're drawing two cards. I'd like to just hit two lands. Didn't hit any lands. We likely have to just kill a wild growth walker here. Well, we definitely have to kill that. Oh, man, this sucks. I think we just have to stunt their mana growth. Like, though, I mean... If I just chart a course and draw two more cards, go land, Terramander, then we have Lava Coil, and we can Lava Coil like a Hostage Taker or something like that next turn. This does kind of blow. Jeez. Whoop. Jeez. 
Yeah, Discovery. Discovery would have found would have had more shots to find me land. Yeah. Okay, there's Choop, which is gross. This is all gross. So now I probably have to hit this Incubation Druid because I can't... Like, I have to find Land and Vivian, or Land and Spell Pierce to not get Vivian out of this game. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Adonis Time is a beating out of this deck. But, like, we're not going to win if we don't enact our own game plan. Jeez. All right, we have to hit a land. All right, put into your graveyard, put on top. It wasn't a red land, unfortunately. All right, no Vivian. I'm going to get Vivian. Oh, my gosh. This match went bad in every single way. It could have gone bad. Good luck, Teddy. All right, another Druid. At this point, we can't really fight them on their mana axis. <clears throat> then after they adapt, we shoot it. Okay, that's more lands, which is what we are in the market for. another one <clears throat> we're like almost there now we have good blocks we can spell pierce another one. Or we can get brown by that. We probably just have to go Ral hit this. In a little bit of a tough spot. That's game. That sucked. <clears throat> we just missed our third. Like if we like that hand, the first game sucked. Because we just missed on like three turns in a row and we could have we had him pretty in trouble. Then that one was just like, ugh. We had Terravander into Charter Course. <clears throat> Ugh. I'm going to wash that one out. 
I like to get taken on dates before that happens to me. Probably way far from last time I was in here, but early game against this deck, I think you have a better chance of winning. So using Wild Coil and shock into your turn, play a second Drake, and hold up Die Down plus shock. Lethal, hold up, not people. Are you talking about game one when I charter coursed into, um, when I charter coursed into like the stones, and I could have, I had six mana, could have gone Drake plus dive down. I'd have to see their life totals, but that's that's pro that could be right because and see how large my drakes are, because I think I killed a wild growth walker, right? And wild growth walker is something that I can't really kill after it gets going. Like if they're at a low life total or my drakes are huge, then you're probably right, Harrison. Um. So I'm gonna play this tap. I'm not gonna shock this into play, because our hand's pretty decent. And I don't mind not charter coursing on turn two. I don't see how large the drakes are and then what the life totals were at again. But it, I mean, it's certainly right that it's just time to like put your head down and kill them. Running a blood crypt off here. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Always assess the audits. I really don't want to. Um, I really don't want to chart a course here because I don't know what's going on yet. We can have set dominance as well, and if we're playing against like uh, an aggro deck, which it appears we are, having shock is nice. How's it going, Archmage? Ooh, the card that Browns shock. So we have a pretty nice turn next turn of like, if they play a threat, we shock it, attack, charter course, and then maybe can interact again. Yeah, we're just like, I'm calling here. Oh, four in this economy. Get a shock, my friend. Oh, okay. All right, their combat trick gets me. That's okay, I knew this was here. Opponent wanted it more. I, there are people in these black green mirrors that are boarding in unmurmuring email, e, un, unmurmuring ego, this is a, Aurelia, that thing is thick. Man, we can't really kill that. Yeah, she's big. Here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> well, I'm going to double shock this if they block. But now we're just going to go here. Here. Get in for two. Draw two cards, play this tapped. It's kind of unfortunate we did hit a spell off of there because our beacon bolt doesn't kill this. If I'm play the Tajik, I'm gonna hurl. Mortify, okay. 
So they're kind of like, it looks like they're a bigger deck. A bigger Mardu deck. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I really don't want to use two cards on this thing. I'm going to hold off for one more turn. Like I want to be able to shock a smaller creature and then beacon bolt this. And like maybe draw something as well. Target itself. Shock this. Judith deals a damage. Yes, but also throwing away like a lot of cards isn't that great either. Spell. Okay. We still have to throw away a lot of cards, which blows. I guess we just be mana efficient. I probably should have Lava Coil. I should have Lava Coil. That was stupid. Because now if they play another one, I can't kill it. <clears throat> that was stupid. Yeah, but like there's a chance that we have that Beacon Bolt in the graveyard if we hit a spell. Angrath the Flame Chain. Yep. Then we're just dead, right? Because they even if we hit a threat, they just take this. And this thing's just going to kill me slowly. I yield. <coughs> I thought we were far enough behind where we needed to, like, make something happen. That was my idea behind that, Harrison. So they're probably boarding in Bedevil, so this isn't great. We saw that they're kind of a bigger deck. I don't think Shock is that good against what they're doing. I think Beacon Bolt is. Like, do we just board out all of our Shocks? Probably bring some more Shocks when we're on the draw. And then just try to be a little... Like, these Terramanders are coming out on the draw. Which is what I like to do here. Heater. We just have to keep this. Hope we find a second land so that we can chart into something. Put on the bottom. <clears throat> land. What a beating. All right, come on. Get out of here, Niv. All right, well, at least we can play Magic. Like, we can Lava Coil this, maybe Spell Pierce something. They're not triggering this, which is nice. We're still, like, super browned to a to an angel. It's not a land we needed. We needed a red source. Yeah, I think... I like Raptor Hatchling much more than Fiery Cannonade. But, like, against this card, Fiery Cannonade is much better. If 
Please let me pierce this. Yield through this turn. <clears throat> Play the Drake with Spell Pierce next turn. Oh shit, I tapped like a dipshit. That was bad. Now I deserve to get like Angrath here. Or this just killed. Yeah, see, we would have had this countered here. Yeah. I'm, I yield. I yield opponent. Oh, that was dumb. I just tapped like a moron. There. Which sucked. I gotta wake up. Ugh. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I mean, maybe if we think the Hero Precinct 1 decks are actually, like, going to be well represented, then the Cannonade is better than the Hatchling. I think that Hatchling is better against Model Red than Cannonade is, though. <laughs> it is not the Cause 9 list. I played that last night. And I think I think I, I, I think that his deck is going to start to get more. Um, it should be more represented. I think it's I think it's underrepresented for how good it is. Jeez. We need a third land anyways, and we can lava coil someone something. So I'm going to keep. But like we need to hit a blue source anyways for this land to be turned on. Looks like we're playing against fog. Or the or a simic deck. I'm so good at this game. Because <clears throat> like, I think I think that we're gonna Brad's deck. I think the Drakes is gonna become more popular. So like you're gonna want cards like like Terramander's not great in the mirror. Um. Uh, you're gonna need whatever it is. Um. Dude, I am so good at this game. That. I don't need to win matches of magic to val to ver to validate myself, Harry. <coughs> um, I don't think we need this. We don't want this at the moment. Okay. So now we'll discovery. I think these are going to be, like, do we think this is a Turbo Fog deck? Like, like they kept seven, and they went Hinterland Harbor into Breeding Pool. Like, do we think this is a Wilderness Reclamation deck? My gut says it is. I will split the difference. I always get up. I, I get up early to take Phil out. Oh, looks like we're not playing against Turbo Fog. Okay. I'm just going to jam this Enigma Drake. I think that that's pretty low. Um, that's not very high on my uh, stance, Harry, because, like, they if, if they know the deck list, they know that they're Spell Pierce. And... Like, <clears throat> I'm not going to take a potentially bad draw step where it looks like the third spell pierce is a bad draw step to conceal information. Incubation druid. That thing's dead. We're just going to stymie mana. Yeah, we're still just gonna. Uh, I guess could have held up double pierce there. I think the deck's pretty solid, Rafi. Dude, grow the Drake. All right. 
I'm ready. Oh, oh my god. So good. They're just so good. Uh, we just I've been playing all of it, Rafi. I've been playing um so what are we doing here? Hang on. We're probably just Honestly, I think I'm just gonna chart a course after attacking. I don't really want to jam the second Drake until I like I can leave mana up for Pierce and Dive Down. So I think we're just gonna draw two cards. I guess I can't leave up mana for Pierce and Dive Down because of my mana situation. <clears throat> And we can like shock this. We probably can just kill our opponent if this Drake lives. <clears throat> I played pretty much. I played every. I played Turbo Fog, Red. Um, is this a Crassus or is this a Fine Finality? It looks like it's a Crassus. Okay, X equals four. So now I gotta do myself some thinking. Seven. Now we're not gonna be able to kill our opponent. So we just untap the cards. I am so good at this game. I haven't played against a lot of Esper. I think the Esper deck, I don't know. I think that I have not been like super impressed with the Teferi decks. Um, I think I'm just going to pick this off. Well, no. We'll just wait. This isn't doing anything to me. Like, I'll take two for now. Cast down. You got two removal spells, bud. He's like, fuck you. I do have two removal spells. All right. We're going to shock this now. All right. Land. All right, ready is a land coming off the top. You don't play that many removal spells, bud. They could just go land hostage taker and then take this and play it. We could also play a mega huge crassus, which looks like what's happening here. This game is slowly starting to uh, it's slowly starting to slip away. There's our land. It didn't really matter. <coughs> yeah, we can bounce this. It doesn't quite kill them, but it leaves them... But the problem is they just gain a bunch of life next turn. Because they're at 11. I think I just play Enigma Drake, leave up double blue. Leave up double blue. And then we can like grow our Drakes to make them both lethal next turn. Yeah, we've only got two Lava Coils left in our deck, Harrison. I think it's good to leave up to play Enigma Drake. Have die down plus spell pierce, then we can untap and grow each one of our drakes to be lethal. That's that's what I'm feeling. No, we're not forcing the chump, Delray. We're gonna make it so there's two lethal threats. 
next because like we're gonna make it so there's two lethal threats. If they like tap out in Crassus again, we're in a little bit of trouble. Here comes just another Crassus, okay. Okay, so this puts them up to how much life? Now they're at 14. Dive down spell pierce makes these 11. All right. Dispersal crack. I don't, still don't really like doing that. Yeah, a couple turns ago. What I need to do is make these drakes big. Ooh. So we sit on this. I go op shock to make each one of these drakes lethal. And then we kill uh, Krasis. <clears throat> We've only got two left in our deck, though. And like at that point, it was like forty cards. Okay, resolves. Dive down. They don't have black mana. Up. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, it's like you get your wild growth locker, but you're dead as a doorknob. Okay, so they do have something. So we're not tapping out here. Okay, our opponent's dead. And then we're not going to dispersal because this is only a two. Is what, What's the CMC on the battlefield? It's less, right? We, we lost the dispersal anyways. Derp. All right. Smoke this. Yeah, so it would have bounced the Vivian, which is good to know. Okay. All right, so we're going big. We're bored out Terramanders on the draw. Um, I almost like boarding out Enigma Drake on the draw, like one Enigma Drake. <clears throat> I could just bring in Negate over Spell Pierce because we're trying to go a little bit longer. I like this deck a lot. Shock your opponent and spell pierce at first for the PMs. Like spell pierce is better on the play when I'm being aggressive and I'm like tapping out on my turn, but negate is probably better on the draw because we're playing a little bit of a slower game. So there's arguments to just boarding out more of these and bringing in just more counter spells on the draw to just be a little more reactive. Maybe play like a treasure map game. All right, we're gonna we're doing this for science. This might not be right to do, but this is what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to be reactive on the draw. <clears throat> and then on the play, switch it up, bring our Terramanders and bring our Drakes, our other Drakes back in. I don't I don't know if this is right. Like we're we're just we're yolo in it here. This hand's very good, very reactive, which is what we want to be. Like we want to react, 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 Nick.
field through this turn. I think the Drake's deck, uh, Sam, is more of what I want to play, like what I'm comfortable playing. Like, I'm going to play a Soul Tide Crassus deck. I'm either going to play a Bug Crassus deck, React Niff, or I'm going to play this at the SCG next weekend. Treasure Map would be a really nice draw here. There's our boy. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep this. It's a little greedy, but my boy Niv's gonna gonna take us to the promised land. Now we can hit a climb, which is sweet. You should be able to see it on the cardboard live thing, Rafi. Ah, uh, thank you very much for the follows. I I turn my stream. I turn my mic off when I play. So, um. Caligaletto, if you're still in there, and Alarak. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, but if you guys are still in there, I appreciate you. Um, there's not, they're not going to do anything scary to us on this turn. Actually, I'm going to play my land <clears throat> because there's a chance they draw like an Incubation Druid or something like that, or they go Jade Light Ranger and I can chalk it. Um, I'm not wild about missing, about potentially missing my land drop next turn. But I do want to just draw this treasure map, just, just to draw it. Like, if we're, if we're at it, if we're at the SCG, i probably bin this. But I want to, I just want, I just want to play with it. Here. I'm watching people play Gates. I think the, I think there's a chance... That the Gates deck becomes the best. Uh, is it not up there? I thought I could see that. Well, if you want to see the deck list, Rafi, give me one second. I think there's a chance that the Drake's deck becomes, or the, the Gates deck becomes the best deck in the format. Like, because I think it's just busted. So we can't play treasure map now because we just get browned by a uh, Vivian. And this at least draws us a card. It goes down, we shock it. So we don't get as wrecked by Vivian Reed here. All right. <clears throat> Because, like, our turn next turn is if, let's, let's just say they go Vivian Smoke this. We go Shock, Map. And then Map chugs us up to hit land drops. If they kill this, oh, man, are they going to Assassin's Trophy this? Is this real life? Yes. This card is so bad. Like, the only reason this card should see any play, in my opinion, is because of Wilderness Reclamation. Is a crassus like what you you got to have a crassus here right I mean what well, you kept your hand for a reason there's a crassus for four so we're probably gonna end up lava coiling and feeling bad about this but I'm not just running niv out on six like we're gonna have something to do with our niv I could just double shock this but I'm kind of down. Like, Shock deals with... I don't think I want this either. I think I just want to hit land drops. Shock helps deal with Vivian. And I think we're going to do... I think we're going to scry on our upkeep here. Um. So putting this on the bottom is the same thing. Okay. So, do we want to be mana efficient? We probably just want to be mana efficient here. Like they can they can find it back, which is 
annoying, but slow. Crassus is very good. <coughs> Touche opponent. I don't think that this 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 deck should be playing this card moving forward. I think you're just so greedy. Like to get have someone take back what they took from you. Now they can just play the they can play the map, which I mean it's good value. Like I'm being a little salty. All right, so because of that, we're just going to hit this. And I don't want to discard any of my cards. They're all pretty decent. So we can't deal, we can't really beat a land Vivian. I can't shock it in response, right? It's a 2-3. It does just kill the Crassus, but it's, it's such low value. Like... It's like, it's a disaster. Like, like I think you're supposed to board it out here because if you take my Crackling Drake, then it's not good. Are you just sending out these BDE dominants? God, please Vivian read me. If they Vivian read me here, I'm probably just going to double shock it then play Niv. I'm, I'm actually going to shock it once because I'm just going to trust there's a land on the top of my deck and we have to get a little lucky. And that makes it so... Uh, shocking it once makes it so our shock cantrips. And we want... We, we, we just need a little bit of help at this point. This game spiraled a little bit out of control. Land. Tilt. Um, I could bounce it, but that's still not that great. I think we just want the land. We can still play Niv next turn and shock this on our main phase and not have it die. At least the Niv cantrips. And if they use a spell to kill Niv, then, you know, more power to him. We hit a dive down here. Holy shit. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So there's a Crassus for three currently. Which is going to be tough to beat. Pretty much everything's tough to beat at this point. <clears throat> which I wonder how we got here. The nice thing is that if we get to untap with Nimizit, we can deal with this cantrip again. Like, you know, we're definitely reaching, but like that's the life we live, unfortunately. All right, well, we got a cantrip out of it. Now we just pray. Because <coughs> if we untap with this Niv Mizzet, we're going to kill some stuff. All right, let's get this. All right. We get to go Drake plus Bolt.
one, two. There's that wild boy. They're doing this in odd hostage taker. Dive down. Um, all right, we're just going to play a second one. Our opponent's going to kill it. I'm going to leave that in my hand. <coughs> I think they can outvalue us so easy. Yeah, like... The, it seems it appears like the control plan is not great. Oh wow, they're plussing. That means that that means that both of these are dead. The thing is here, if our opponent just gets cute and uh, plays another massive crisis, they could die. Yeah, I saw that. It's kind of sad. Take one. But they have to recast it, even though, I mean, it still does a lot for them, but. Yep. You draw a card. Oh, Vivian is a minus three, excuse me. You're right, Harrison. Okay, so we're going to beacon bolt this, attack. Um, let's just discard land. We're going to draw two cards and then likely Beacon Bolt again. Get Vivian out of here. We're going to go to four at least on this attack. Or go to three. Yeah, it's it's not it's not good. We draw two. All right. And we made a land drop there because we want to be able to do stuff with Niv next turn. What do you got here? Are you gonna freaking negate that? All right. All right. So even then, let's say we could have killed this. If they just have one, two, three power, they crash us again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We then play on our turn. We play Niv. We then Beacon Bolt. We draw an additional card into Lava Foil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we don't attack. I mean, there's a lot of ways this goes wrong, but I think if this resolves, we get to play Niv, Bolt, and draw another card. Like, I don't feel like we're super out of it. All right, so now we want to play aggressive. So get this out of here. Get these out of here. We want these. We want Terramander. I almost don't even want this much removal in my deck. Two spell pierce, three dive downs. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Like, the beacon bolt kills bigger things, but I think our goal here is to not get to the point where we have to kill big things. <coughs> All right. Petri on the play. I want more wants to find that lot while I usually choose okay. Without trying to ask me on PC Yeah, it's it's just not good. Charter course off the top. Two 
chart, of course, off the top. Tilt. All right, we're just going to play a tapped blood crypt. Then pass. Wow, no plays on one or two from OP. Now we're probably just going to play this Drake. It's literal adding zero power onto the board, but it's also the most mana efficient play that I have. And like, we're going to be able to kill something here. Like, they kept seven, right? Oh no, they moved into five. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, you got it. Now we draw the dive down. Oh, no, we don't want to dive down that. We want to play Petrie, play the Steam Vents. All right, that's dead. Trophy, what do they do with that? You're going to keep that on top? Yep. I think I'm going to let them trophy one of my Terramanders here. Let's just, I'm just going to clear this thing. And then we're just going to let Terramander get trophied. And then we're going to draw a land like a professional. And we're going to have Niv plus dive down. <clears throat> if they just play Vivian, okay, Crass is for three. That's okay. So now we got to play a little slower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cost eight to adapt. Again, we're just gonna let them trophy us here. <clears throat> because if they trophy us, we get to uh, we get to play uh, we get to level up. They're not gonna trophy in the main phase, I guess. Well, I'm talking about if they trophy us, we get another land, Harry. And we can we can adapt, but they're probably not going to do that on, our, on their main phase. Play this. Then shock my steam vents in. <clears throat> 50 people watching. I hope everyone's having a good start to their morning. So it looks like they're going to fight over the dive down with a negate. Which is okay. We're still going to shoot this. So I draw a card. They have a negate, <coughs> which they do. I guess I could have, if I could have sniffed this out, I could have hit the Crassus. Well, we are, we're not, we're not drawing that well. But we're going to be able to get these Terramators going. Uh, yield through this turn. So we shoot them, shoot the walker. We get another land. Do we even have another basic? 
Oh, we have plenty of basics. Probably skip a mountain at this point. So these cost six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be a level one up next turn. We do get to crack them for six. Jeez. I mean, our opponent mulligan, our opponent did mulligan to five, but man, we have not, we've run a little cold in this league. <clears throat> Moto Shuffler, please. <coughs> They're shocking. So here comes a Crassus or a Varaskis Contempt. Okay, you got it. You got it. Yield through this turn. All right, so this means they're going to chunk Terramander. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we can Drake as well. God. I have to stop drinking coffee and start drinking beer if we keep doing this shit. Okay, go to one. I probably should have attacked before I draped. Whew. So that was kind of a shit match. I'm gonna grab some more co some more coffee. BRB. So I think I want to respect, so let me go back to deck building here. I think the control decks are pretty bad. So I think what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut this row and we're going to play one fiery cannonade. F-I-R-E-R-Y, what are some cards? F-I-E-R-Y. Uh, quantity zero. And I'm going to cut one Raptor Hatchling to do a 3 2 split. Because the Cannonade is better against like the Hero Precinct decks. I think Raptor Hatchling is better against Burn, though. And I want to be able to bring in like. <clears throat> like, I want to be able to bring in these seven cards here because I want to cut like Beacon Bolt, Niv three Terramanders, and like, well, maybe that's too many cards to bring in. Maybe I don't even want the Shivan Fires. We don't need that much extra removal. I could just go these five for these five for one, two, three, four, five. It's probably my plan against the aggro decks. The Raptors are good against Mono Red and Mono White. And they're good against, like, the Hero of Precinct decks. <clears throat> well, my match has started. I would like to play first. Um, I, we, we gotta keep this. We're on the play. Hopefully we're playing against like a control deck. All right, well here we're gonna play against Mono Red so we can figure out what's going on here. Well, I want five, right? Because I don't really want Beacon Bolt. Um, I'm gonna put Put on top, put on top. The other reason that I'm, I want my fourth land, but like how my mana is going to work is I go Terramander into Opt. And I'm going to trade this Terramander with anything possible here. Guess. <coughs> what are you saying, Free? I think I want... 
at least five slots, including cannon, right? I think Melody's pretty poor. Unless you have, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna trade. We're gonna make it so we don't turn on Spectacle. I can shock their next play. This card's not good in this matchup because of Chain Whirler. Okay, that's dead. And now we play an unopposed Drake, and we turn the corner. Into a Spell Pierce. Gasoline. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I would like to be able to hold up Spell Pierce here, but I think we just have got to be mana efficient. I can hold up Spell Pierce. <coughs> I'm blocking this Drake, or this Goblin Chain Whirler. Because with Spell Pierce... Like, this has to be shock in order to have this trade profitably for our opponent. And the headshot. Okay. We still get a two for one. They don't get spectacle. The spell pierce is likely going to hit something here. Nope, it did not. <coughs> and I think we're just still going to still going to drake it up. And again, I'm going to counter anything that I can here with this counter with this spell pierce. It's like if you want to keep trading your if you want to keep sending your shocks at my drakes, like then you do you, bugaboo. Yep. I mean that's not going at my head. So now we get rid of this, play Enigma Drake, have spell first up. We've likely got this game. Poor sequencing. Yeah, they just scoop it up. All right, let's take a look at our hatchy boys. So we want to bring in these. We're cutting Niv, Beacon Bolt, three Terramanders. I want to bring in another Shiv and Fire because I, th I think it's that important for us not to get hit on the stack. And Chart, of course, is likely a worse uh, cantrip. <coughs> I'm going to try and see if we can do this without a cantrip, though. Yeah, I think Terramander is very good. How's it going, Radio? I think Terra Manor is much better than Search Race Kanta. Search Race Kanta is too slow, and with the matches where you want Search Race Kanta, they have Mortify. Uh, we got a Mulligan. We don't have any removal. All right, here. I'm going to put it on the bottom. I don't want to mess around here. And we're going to be very aggressive with using this Shiv Empire, even if it's on like a little dumb 1 1 here, because we just don't, we don't want to get burned out. All right. All right, that's dead. So I'm going to want another land regardless here. And like we're going to do this now, so if we hit our land, we can play it tapped and not take damage. Yep, you got it, friend. Then they light up the stage. Okay, Lava Coil and Wizard Lightning. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to jam this. Like, they get to use their two cards, I guess. So maybe that's a little loose. But we don't have another... Like, if we had another land, I could wait. Well, I guess I was dumb. Let's 
land gas. And now we just block this thing for days. Treasure map. All right, now we we ought to just this is just to grow our Drake. Crack, play another Drake. Then we just close the game out as quick as possible. There's our Raptor Boy. Raptor Boy is gonna be so sweet because. If we draw a land, we can play Drake and Raptor Boy, and Raptor Boy holds down the ground. Well, the thing is, like, Freed, it, it's you're not adapting it. Like, I've adapted it on four before, and it, it plays out like Gurmag Angler some of the time. You got this going in my head. It plays out a lot like Gurmag Angler, where in the late game, yeah, we're just going to block. If you want to trade a Drake here, we're cool with that. Where... You just go, um, how do I say this? You go like cantrip, 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 find something, and then play Terramander. No, they're not out grinding Crack on Drake. Especially when they're just pissing their creature away. All right, so we're just attacking. All right, whatever, like three, you got to kill two of these or kill me. Which I don't think they can kill me with any two card combination. They cannot die next turn. I guess they can Banefire me, five, six, seven, eight. They go land Banefire, I'm dead. Do you get a Banefire? Are you serious? Is this real? <sighs> they literally put the card on the bottom too with their scry. <sighs> All right, submit. That was sad. All right, so we don't have any removal. But we have two drakes with dive down, and we're on the play. I'm going to keep his hand because we're on the play. I would not, I would throw this back on the draw. Play this, pass. There's that lava boy. I think I want to play one Blood Crypt in this deck. All right, we don't need another one of these. We are going to need this. So this sets up the lava coil, sets up interacting plus tap land so that I can go Enigma Drake plus dive down. I get skewered here. Light up the stage. And new land. Yeah, we're just going to go interact into tap land. Because we can't let we can't let creatures deal damage to us. That's how we can't win this matchup if they kill us, if they get damage in with creatures. Because it comes into play untapped when you need it to, and that's not always a guarantee. Like, you can hit, you play, like, what, seven or eight islands? And if you have, like, this weird Sulphur Falls plus Dragon Skull Summit draw, like, it's basically, like, I would I would rather, like, most of the time, I would rather pay two life to make sure my land comes into play untapped.
poor sequencing, poor sequencing. Um, so if we bin three spells, 6, 12, 14, 15, we hit a spell, we can kill him, okay, which we've got to do quick. Four, double shock, six. Hang on. So we keep two shocks. This is going to be these four. Two shocks will make them six. Two shocks was in a 13. So we can't quite kill them. But I think the shock is still worth it, anyways. The question is, do we just put them to one damage anyways, and then shock ourselves to hold up spell pierce? I think we do. Because there's definitely a chance that this, um, that we get to hit something with this spell pierce, because they're going to they're going to uh, um, they're gonna whatever I was gonna say uh, they shouldn't have done that. they should have just tried to 13 me lava boy there's only a three mana left they say GG okay <clears throat> Whew. close matches as a general rule I get it but if you're using the black mana, cast a five-minute spell, being able to cast a five-minute spell and not having a mountain is, auto, is astronomically impossible in your deck. Well, so it's not like we're using it to cast a five-mana spell. We might have to use that to cast a two-mana spell. And, like, you can't have it come into play tapped on turn two. Or, like, on turn one, if you need to shock something and you have Island Dragon Skull Summit, you're just going to hurl. Uh, yeah, this hand is pretty solid. We're going to play our tap land on one, though, because like it's not likely we get the shock. And our hand's pretty solid against our creature deck anyway, so we, it's not like we're hurting to uh, shock them on uh, turn to, to, like, it's not like we're going to be hurting to use this chart, of course. Like our hand is pretty good. All right, so let's start playing against Esper. And if we are playing against Esper, we're going to turn this chart, of course, into a draw, too. Probably should have shocked them just to get some damage in. If they mortify this, I'm going to hurl or quench me. Okay. All right, there's our boy. There's our old one of. I'm not going to shock them. draw two um there's nothing my opponent can really do that's that scary to me on this turn so let's just dispersal spell pierce is great we can put in this we probably should have drawn that discovery to just be able to do something on mana next turn all right we'll take it all right, we're, we can't really turn this one into a draw, too. That spell pierce is nice. One, two, three, four, five. So we're not going to play Niv next turn. We're going to wait until we can Niv plus interact. Um, we're not playing a tap land anyways, so let's just hold up max red sources. We want to find... Uh, an Enigma Drake, yeah, Enigma Drake's the nut. Because it lets us hold up interaction as well. And like this is likely going to bait a counter spell. And if it baits a counter spell, that's okay. If this dies, we're gonna let it die. 
we just want to be able to counter Teferi next turn. <clears throat> You gotta get that hero of Dominaria. So now we have a bit of a problem where if we play Niv Mizzet, they kill Niv Mizzet. Two, three, four. They can if they have another contempt, we're gonna kind of feel bad here. Or if they have land into Teferi and we can't spell pierce after they kill Niv Mizzet. So if they have like Vraska's Contempt plus Land to Fairy, we're in a little bit of trouble, but that's a pretty specific set of cards. So YOLO. Okay, this is this is great. And now if they go land Teferi, we have Shock Up to deal with the Teferi. Kaya's Wrath. Uh, so am I just going to cycle this Spell Pierce? I probably should at this point, because, like, well, we might hit something with this Pierce. So I guess we're going to wait. We're going to take our two fur. We get Kaya's Wrath. Surveil to looking just for threats. There's our crackling homie. Um, one, two, three, four. That resolve, which is nice. And then can I just pump Terramander twice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we're going to play Terramander. Then hope they don't have a third wrath. With the the fast as fast as they let that resolve, I, they could be they could have a fourth wrath pretty easy. All right, so we're just gonna wait and untap. Let's do this right now because we could find dive down. We're looking for just threats at this point. Threats or die. We're we're buying anything that's not threat dive down. You want to shock before the Niv dies to deal an extra damage and draw a card. Well, there's a chance that I want to use the shock to kill like a Teferi. You know? Like if they were at a lower life total, I'd like to put a little more pressure at them. But like they may go like Teferi Tuck and then I go like shock your Teferi. Uh, put this in the bottom. Tilt. All right, you get Kai's Wrath and Settle the Wreckage in your deck, bud. Adapt. Yeah, I think like. Chemistry's insight into something here. Like they go chemistry insight digging. That's gonna be the nut. Alright. Take it. Alright. I'm gonna spell pierce anything that I can spell pierce here. Like if they go like insight insight, I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit a second insight. Um, <coughs> Twitch chat, you want to say hi to my dog? All right. Come say hi to Philly boy. Philly boy. I don't want to move this. Phil, 
Say hi to Twitch chat, Phil. You get the Philly boy. The Philly boy tongue. Okay, so ditch moment of craving. Dude, Phil is gas. Dude, Phil is huge. Phil's 80 pounds of just beef. Like he is thick. You are thick. You're 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 like you're multiple C's, bud. All right, we're just doing this because it's not going to get any better for us. My opponent says sorry, BRB. I'll concede if I don't draw wrath though. No, what are we doing? They, they're saying, I guess they have to. They have to go do something. They're saying like, BRB. Phil, come here, bud. Pity boy. Pity boy, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here, bud. Sit on my lap. Pity boy. Pity boy. Phil, Phil, Twitch chat loves you. Oh, Phil. Phil, come say hi to Twitch chat. Oh, Phil. Oh, Phil. Philly boy. Oh, yeah. This is what we do during this stream when our opponent goes away. My dog likes me. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Phil. Dude, Phil is huge. You're a big boy. You are a big dog. Phil's getting neutered in like two weeks. It's going to be sad. Oh, your paw's in my face. Your paw is in my face. Fitty boy. Fitty boy. All right, I got to put you down. I got to play. Can I have a kiss? Fitty boy. Can I have a kiss? No, Dad. This is weird. All right. There you go, man. Okay, so we have another Pierce. Dude, Phil is thick. All right, so this matchup just gets better for us. Like, I think it's already good in game one. And then it just gets so much better once we get rid of all this crap. That's a clean 8-in-8 eight eight out. <clears throat> Probably should bring in another beacon bolt. Um, sixty-one. I wonder if I should cut a land with the game going so long. Because I kind of want beacon bolts for like Lyra's. I'm not that worried about thief of sanity. Twitch chat loves you. Do you want a treat? Sit. Sit. You missed it, Phil. Um, all right, we're going to, we're going to get wild here. We're doing this for the yellows. Like again, we're, we're sideboard and weird just to find out. <clears throat> I 
All right, we all have to send our good, our good vibes over to Andy Rodup. Andy Rodup is in the finals of the PTQ at Magic Fest, uh, New Jersey. So we're all on Team Andy. We're gonna win, and we're gonna keep. Um. Put this on the bottom. So we're gonna place team events. Yeah, that sucks what they're doing. I mean I don't know. Yeah, dude, we're all we're all going for Team Andy. We're gonna have the guy make the Pro Tour. Gilberson. Oh Philly boy. Hey boy. He's like, Dad, can I play magic? Phil, you don't have thumbs. You can't flick cards. Um I'm gonna put this on top and I'm gonna cast this next turn. My opponent burns a negate on it and like that's cool. There's our boy Niv. This is bold to counter this, in my opinion. But they might just have a read. They also might just want to use their mana. Uh, so my wife and I got engaged in Philadelphia. So he is Philly. Get another negate. Put into the graveyard, put on top. <clears throat> We're gonna have our another our next dog is gonna be named George because we live in Washington, DC. And then my wife and I met in St. Johnsbury, Vermont. So then our dog after that is going now we're gonna I don't really wanna I mean if this Enigma Drake gets countered, this Enigma Drake gets countered. Dog's cute, name's cute, deck's cute. First time here. The stream is gas. I try. We could have been a little more conservative here, I guess, and then gone Charter Course into Spell Pierce. Our opponent's beginning to get a mana advantage on us, which is a little tough. I think, well, actually, Terramander is not bad, but I'm going to bottom it. I'm going to put it in the graveyard. Because Terramander, um, it's just cheap. And our hand's a little expensive, but I think we're just in the market for lands encountering Teferi. Like we just want to march our way up to the Niv Dad. All right. Noted. Little bit of an awkward. Like it'd be nice to be able to hold up blue here, but I don't think we can be. I probably should have actually waited because we hit a blue land. I'm punished. Okay, we didn't. I'm gonna trade here if my opponent lets me. Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's how that works. It's not a sorcery, you can do it at any time. Only during their turn though. But right, this thing's gonna take me to Brown Town. All right, all right. I yield. This thing's just gonna kill me. Okay, so we want a little more removal. It appears. I cut one enigma drake. I'm gonna cut another enigma drake because enigma drake's our worst threat by far in th in this matchup. And I'm just gonna bring back in. I'm gonna bring one lava coil in. Now we're bringing two lava coils and then again just cut one more enigma drake because enigma drake's just not that good like it's control decks because it just sits there it's not like it's terramander where it's cheap or crackling drake where it draws a card heater i put a mulligan too what a nice fella put on the bottom <clears throat>
pen. Nice. So now we have the, the Wombo combo. Nice. So we're going to undo our mulligan here and have Dive Down up. I shouldn't have played my land. And I'm going to play another one. Now that we drew that negate for the Wrath. Plus, we want to just be... Like, our mana is spoken for for the rest of this game, pretty much. And I'm not going to chart, of course, because I want to be able to negate a Wrath next turn. We already got our two fur. We're on the board. I'm going to dive down. If they go Mortify, I'll dive down. I would love to hit a land drop. If we can hit a land drop next turn. I don't think our opponent has... But again, we don't want to take negate off for a Teferi. So let's just pass. And this is where the Terramanders are great. Like if we had a land, Terramander would enable... I probably... Well... The problem is they counter that and then they play Teferi. I guess I can dive down, but they can just go up and not worry about it. That girl is thick. That's a problem. We have two Beacon Bolts left in our deck that kill that. And we have a row. Lyra is pretty solid, especially with a Teferi follow up here. So we can actually kill Lyra with dive down plus lava coil, unless they mortify us right here, which appears like what's going to happen. <clears throat> Beacon Bolt. How else are we using our mana this turn? Yeah, I mean, I guess we can just keep growing these Terramanders. Put into your graveyard, put into our graveyard. All right, so there's Beacon Bolt, which is nice. So next turn we can Beacon Bolt with Negate up, and then attack Teferi. So we're not out of it. Teferi is gonna body us though. We gotta get this Lyra off the board though. Each player sacrifices a creature with the greatest. Okay. You got my Terramander. How much big is this? It's big enough. You got two counter spells, my friend. You have two smack. If you have two counter spells, good on you. It had to be absorbed negate. Double absorb doesn't work. No negate. All right, well, this is step one. <clears throat> so we're still in it. Must they kill this? Oh, they just exile the beacon bolt. Okay. Let them draw a card too. Yeah. Oh, we have another one. No, for Ask's Contempt. All right, we need a threat ASAP. Oh, 
on the bottom. Oh no, we're gonna get the two three. All right, well there's Terramander. Just play this. Maybe they don't have a counter spell. They didn't have a counter spell last turn. They're just inciting. Okay. And now we'll just pass. <clears throat> I think we're going to scoop to this. That's a tough beat. It's a pretty tough beat here. Um... All right, so we're going to play another league with the Sultai Crass.